What up, Afro Man Kid Space? How's it going, young heroes? All right, today we're gonna do multiplying fractions. I know a lot of people in sixth grade are having trouble with it. And if you're not, this would be a good way to perfect it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at these two numbers. All right, these two fractions are called whole fractions. All right, what we wanna do is we wanna change them into something called an improper fraction, just to multiply them out easier. All right, to do that is really easy. All you gotta do is times the denominator by the whole number. All right, so that's three, two. All right, three times two equals six. If you guys haven't seen this dot before, this dot means times, so it's the same thing as the X up here. All right, so three times two equals six. And then what we do after that is we take the resultant number, the 6, and add it to the numerator. Alright, so plus 1. Alright, that gives us 7. Alright, next is take the 7 and just put it over the original denominator, the 2. Alright, so we got 7 over 2 down here. Alright, easy so far? And what we did to this number, this whole fraction, we're going to do the same thing to the 2 and the 2 fifths. Alright, so that's 5 times 2. 5 times 2. Alright, that equals 10. Then add the numerator. Alright, plus 2 gives us 12. Then take the 12 and put it over the original denominator again. Alright. And bring it back over here with the other one. That's 12 over 5. Alright. So these are improper fractions. And what improper fraction means is that the numerator is larger than the denominator. Alright. So from here all we do is times these two top numbers, the numerators. And these two bottom numbers, the denominators. Alright. 7 times 12 is going to be 84. Alright. And 2 times 5 is going to be 10. Okay, and that's mostly our answer. We're almost there, all right? What I'm talking about now is that this number, just like before, these are improper fractions too. The numerator is bigger than the denominator, all right? We don't like improper fractions in math as an answer. All right, so what we got to do is take this improper fraction and put it back into the whole fraction. All right, that's not too um, hard easy either. But um, before I do that, I'm going to reduce this fraction as much as I can just to make it so that when I put it back into the whole fraction, it's its lowest possible fraction. All right, so I know that at the very least, two can go into both of these numbers. Right? Because they're both even, two always will go into even numbers. Alright, when I come out of that, it's going to give me, two goes into 84 42 times. Alright, and two goes into 10 five times. Okay, easy enough so far. Alright. Now, I just picked 2 just because, like I said before, these two were even numbers, so I knew that 2 would go into it. But there could have been a bigger number that went into the fraction other than 2 to make it even lower. Alright, so what I do then is I check the reduced fraction I got and make sure that nothing else can go into both of these numbers. Alright, I already know what can go into 5, only 2 numbers, 1 and 5, right? Well, whatever numbers can go into the bottom, it has to go into the top too. Or vice versa, whatever numbers you put into the top has to be able to go into the bottom. Well, I know 1 can go into 42. However, if I use 1 for the top and the bottom, all it's going to give me is 42 over 5, which is the same thing that we started with. All right? The only other number um, that the bottom number has is the 5. And can 5 go into 42? No. All right? So that means that 42, 42 fifths is our lowest fraction. All right, from there, all we do to change it back into the whole fraction is divide, all right? 
42 over 5 is the same thing as saying 42 divided by 5, right? So all we do is 5 into 42. Okay, so 5 goes into 4, 0 times. 5 goes into 42. Yeah, 5 can go into 42 8 times, right? So 5 times 8 give us 40. We have a remainder of two. All right, so what this means is that the number that we got up top here, this eight is gonna turn into our whole number. All right, so that's gonna be a big eight over here. Our whole numbers are the same thing as the three and the two that we had up on top. All right, the two that's remaining, that's the same thing as saying the two is what remains of the fraction, all right? So then I'm gonna put that back into the fraction and since the fraction was over five in the first place, put the five back there. All right, and that is our answer. Eight and two fifths. All right, only thing we wanna do, if you wanna go ahead and check it, um, that's really easy too. We do the same thing um, that we did at the very beginning. So that's five times eight. Five times eight equals 40. All right, just like the beginning, we add the numerator, the two, into the um, resultant number, so 40. That gives us 42. All right, and then we put this number back over the original fraction, the five, our original denominator. All right, the 42 fifths is the same thing as what we had at the beginning with the 42 fifths. So that means that eight and two fifths was done right and this is your final answer all right so i'm gonna put some fractions up for you guys on the site go ahead and try it with your family and see if you can get the right answers later